Hi, everybody, and happy Friday to three new senior meteorologists. Matt Wentz with a look at your forecast. Thanks for joining us on our YouTube channel here on this Friday. What a beautiful day we have. Temperatures getting up into the mid 80s this afternoon. Sunshine, just some high wispy clouds. That's it. That's all we're getting off of Francine. The old tropical system heading down towards Arkansas right now. Not expecting any rain from that. Friday evening plans look good. Friday night football looks good as well. We'll fall back through the 70s. Also, all three major stadiums. Downtown Cleveland packed tonight with either concerts or the Guardians game. Uh, pack the patients if you're heading into downtown. A lot of parking restrictions. All those are on WKYC.com. As we go throughout the overnight, we'll fall back down into the upper 50s and low 60s. That's where we found ourselves every morning this week. And that's kind of where we'll start our Saturday morning. Good morning for coffee on the porch, coffee at a local restaurant, whatever it happens to be. Coffee just sounds good on Saturday mornings in general. And then as we go throughout the day, near 80 by noon, more sunshine expected. We'll make it into the mid 80s. It's going to be pretty hot on Saturday afternoon. Humidity stays manageable, so there's that. But it will be on the warm side both Saturday and Sunday. So guards taking on the Rays, as I mentioned, later on tonight, 710. A little hazy sunshine and certainly a warm evening. Great to showcase Cleveland for all the people coming downtown. There's your weekend. Haven't changed this all week. 85 both days. We'll have sunshine, just a few passing high wispy clouds. That's it. I think most of the weekend will be spent in full sunshine. And yes, the sun has been great. It's been a wonderful stretch of weather and it continues through next week. But the big problem is, I mean, it's like the elephant in the room. We need rainfall badly and that drought continues to get worse. In fact, the latest drought monitor came out yesterday and it doesn't paint a good picture. In terms of moderate drought, we had 62% of the state of Ohio in moderate drought last week. We're up to 78%. And it gets worse than there. There's severe drought, there's extreme drought and exceptional drought. All major categories that are as worse as it gets here in terms of the drought monitor downstate. That's where they really need the rain. But we do too. Don't let this white area fool you. We need rain all across northeast Ohio as well. But just for, for perspective, it does get worse as you get downstate. In fact, these are some of the driest parts in the entire country. Locally, these are our hubs, right? We can only collect rainfall at one spot. And so this isn't indic indicative of what's happening in every neighborhood. But in terms of Cleveland Hopkins, we're down six inches on the year. Look at Mansfield Airport, down 7.5 inches on the year. That's a big deal because you can't get that amount of rain uh, in one storm system typically, right? So we need multiple storm systems to bring us rain. Akron dealing with a deficit as well. Remember, they had flooding about a month ago uh, from all the rain. That's why your number's not quite as low. Uh, a lot of farmers feeling the pinch here as that crop has just stopped. We've got no rain in the forecast through Tuesday. Wednesday, I have just a slight chance. That rain chance has dwindled with the latest model guidance, as you'll see here in the Long Ranger forecast. The jet stream goes way up into Canada. That's what's steering all the cold fronts, so we don't have a path of storm systems over us. We're relying on the tropics, which is not something in Ohio we should rely on. Francine's not going to get it done, but there is expected to be some kind of development off the coast of the Carolinas this weekend. That moisture could come inland. This is the Euro model. It shows no such thing. It's kind of gone away from that idea. But there's still some modeling that still shows us getting some of the rain off of this on Wednesday. Uh, but you can see the Euro keeps us dry all the way through next week. This front will eventually get in here. It's going to take its time. I have a feeling by next weekend into the following week, we may finally get some movement to the atmosphere. I want to show you the GFS rainfall forecast, though, because the American model still brings us rain by next Wednesday. We'll see if that holds true. I tend to lean Euro, and I tend to feel like it's going to be tough to get that rain here, especially in this pet this pattern that we're in. Union Home Mortgage seven day forecasts either 83, 84 or 85 the next seven days with sunshine, just some passing clouds now and then. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that rain chance next Wednesday uh, for sure because we need it. Enjoy the weekend though. Enjoy the beautiful late fall or late summer weather here as we get towards fall. We'll have your next update on the TV side of things at four. Have a great weekend everybody.